Welcome back Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here, and please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm always putting out fresh new content, and your support is greatly appreciated. So what are we going to talk about today? How about Bethesda's last Inside the Vault? On June 11th, Bethesda gave us an update on the website. Two main things discussed in the update are some changes and a few delays with things scheduled to release with the next update, which is update 20. Bethesda says they're making adjustments to the legendary perks in the new event A Colossal Problem before it comes out in Update 20. Because of the changes they're making based upon player feedback, these two things will most likely come after Update 20 rather than coinciding with it. They definitely want to avoid any additional issues that will need to be hotfixed down the road. Least we forget the Fasnac Parade. So they're definitely listening to our feedback. Now, they introed these items into the playtest server and allowed any PC player to get into the playtest server and try them out. Based upon the feedback they received from the playtest server testers, Bethesda has decided to keep working on the A Colossal Problem event and legendary perks in order to respond to our feedback. And although unsure exactly when these items will be released, Bethesda does say that they'll keep us in the loop on the progress. Some of the changes to the legendary perks involve swapping perks in and out at any time in exchange for a fewer coins, as well as saving legendary perk selection even if you haven't filled out all your available slots. Bethesda is also looking into creating some completely new legendary perks and changing a few current ones based on community feedback. So if you have any real suggestions on improving these perks, jump onto the forums and get some feedback. And it looks like the colossal problem will come to us in a future patch. The event has been working well in testing, and feedback from the playtest server testers has been mostly positive, but Bethesda wishes to continue with internal testing in order to polish the event before release, ensuring it is completely ready for release. A bit of good news is, public teams and 76 seasons are both still on track to release in Update 20, sometime this month. Public teams are going to make it easier to group up with players and earn bonuses depending on their team's in-game goals. And just be looking for an in-depth overview of the system in the coming weeks. And again, Season 1 is set to begin for everyone on Patch Day, date to be determined. And it was reviewed in detail during the month of May and will continue to receive attention from Bethesda during June. And we'll be keeping our eye on that one, and we'll be able to let you know more about the various rewards that will be up for grabs here pretty soon. Again, community feedback has been critical for the company, and I truly believe they've really been paying attention to us. And in fact, Bethesda says they're looking into earlier release of the patches within the playtest server so they can receive feedback prior to the full-scale release. And that's pretty cool. So if you have any constructive feedback, submit it constructively. I really think they're listening. And PC players who purchase through Bethesda.net can still try a colossal problem in public teams in the playtest server for right now. If you have any feedback based upon something you see in the playtest server, submit it to the playtest server forums. I'll put a link down in the description. Moving to the event of the week. Now if you're big on turning in your legendary script, most of you already know that the mystery pick event began yesterday and will end at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, June 15th. Are you ready to fill your armory with some new gear? Then if you've got some extra script lying around, you may want to go ahead and try to cash it in on this event. I don't think you'll get necessarily the end game stuff, but you'll get some pretty decent turnover. Head on over to the purveyor shop at the Rusty Pick, located in the Nash Heap. You can choose the mystery pick option and exchange some of those legendary scripts you picked up during the Faznat and receive a completely random 3 star legendary weapon or armor. 60 legendary script is all it takes to pick up your armor or weapon. It's been my experience in the past that whenever I do this event, I usually just end up turning whatever I get back into legendary script. Let us know what you make out with. And that's pretty much all I have for you vault dwellers. I was going to mention some atomic shop items, but I believe if you just venture over there yourself, you'll find that there's a free eye chart for this week. Be looking for server maintenance next week sometime. Probably on Tuesday. I'll try to have a video out for you guys prior to. In the meantime, you take care, Vault Dwellers. Thanks for watching.